What's up, everybody? My name is Luke. I'm Bob. We are Twitter. Twitter. Awesome. And today we are boarding the Disney yeah. Wish. I blanked for a second there. That was good. <laughs> that was, oh, you forgot what ship we're getting at? You know, it's been a long week. It's been a long week. Yeah, thanks, Luke. Woo. Thanks, Luke. <laughs> We're just exploring the ship, trying to get our bearings. Elsa, we can't even see out the window. Cause Elsa froze them. Jeez. Oh! Yeah. Yeah. Hey, thanks for having me. I appreciate you. Thanks, man. Uh, right, we'll see you later. Yeah. Hey, text me if you want to meet up later. Oh, okay. Love to catch you guys, all right? What's, What's up, guys? Here's our room. We got our bathrooms on this side. A little closet space. This is nice. This is real nice. I love the closet space. I love that. It says, Welcome, Harworth fam. The Harworth fam. Oh, fam. Look at the blanket. It even says wish. And look at this. Oh, oh, I love. Oh man, I love. We're on. We're on ten, so we have a covered balcony, meaning like this is where the the deck where you walk is. Yeah, that's a great view. For those of you who are always so concerned, um, this is a bed too. So and this is a bed technically, and that's a bed too. Yeah. To our attendant, Norms. Norms is our attendant. Rock star video. Also, not related to this video, but kind of related to this video. We had breakfast this morning at uh, uh what is it? Boma 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 Boma, Boma, Boma brunch inside the animal kingdom lodge and our server's name was uh lauren but she was a rock star she gave us the best recommendations she was so friendly so kind i'm literally obsessed with her anyway norms also was very nice we just met him we also just, disney, cast, cast, disney, disney cast, cast members guys let's look at this detail. i'm obsessed we've got the castle of the ocean this is ariel's castle also known as um, this is, it doesn't matter. It has all the mermaids on it. I'm happy about it. Yeah, it's a mermaid room. I love mermaids. Enjoy. Also, this full-size mirror is my best life. We might be choreographing in here. We will, probably. <laughs> we will be choreographing. We will be choreographing. But also, look at this. Ariel's on our wall. People always wonder about, like, bathrooms. And here... Oh, wow, Lou, come look! Shower. I think it's similar in size to, like, the fantasy, but... Of the restroom, but yeah, then you've got your little like kind of toilet closet, but you also have a get ready with me sink, which is really nice when Luke and I are like getting ready for stuff. You have two places you can kind of work with a sink. Because uh, you've got two sinks. We have to do some meeting though in 15 minutes. We need to go find it. So we need to make sure we freshen up a bit. Freshen up a bit. We don't, our bags aren't here yet, but they are unloading bags right now. And look, they left us a little bottle of champagne. Too bad we're not drinking this year. <laughs> we might just give it to a friend. So yeah, they're still getting people on. Good morning, Belle. Oh, they're so cute. Yeah, we are. Yep, yeah. I'm so excited. Hey, hey, hey. We then headed up to the deck for the sail away party. This is Jake and his wife Bethany and their kids, aka Pizza Beer Party. And honestly, they were a joy to get to know on this trip. Honestly, I think the thing about this trip that was so much fun was getting to know all the other creators and to be on a cruise together because you immediately already have all your friends. And it was so fun. And the sail away party was a vibe. After the sail away party, this is not the song that the like line dance was to, but we learned this line dance on the fly. It was so fun. to shout out all of these incredible cast members. They work so hard <laughs> and, I, and all with a smile. And I honestly am so impressed with their work ethic and just the attitude that they had on this cruise ship. I also got to shout out Austin and Meredith and Casey and her kiddos coming out on that dance floor. So much fun. Right. All right, everyone. Are you ready? Our friend Courtney's husband, Michael, we didn't know if he was actually going to make it on the ship because he was coming, but he was running late. 
And uh, this was us realizing that he was there and we were so excited to see him. We had choreographed before we came the horns of the Disney Wish. Um, they have very unique horns and they have a bunch of different ones, but there's really no way to time when you're going to, they're going to go off. So we were kind of like just going to do it to the recording that we had. And you'll never guess what happened while we were recording. You probably will because I kind of just told you, but you know, yeah, just pretend you're surprised. We were so excited that the horns went off while we were recording that part of the dance. It's just that Disney magic, I guess. Our first meal on the Disney Witch was at the restaurant 1923. It is split into two sides where you have a Roy Disney and a Walt Disney, which I thought was really cool. How dining at Disney works is that you actually have three restaurants on the ship. And so you rotate with your server and your table to all three different restaurants each night. Because we were on the creator celebration trip, we were blessed with the presence of Emma and her sister Haley and Carolyn and her fiance from Daily Hungry LA. Our servers, Jeremy and Samuel, literally knocked it out of the park. They were so funny. Samuel especially had just this gift of like flourish that he just was always on and we had way too much fun. <laughs> Following dinner at 1923, there was a little jazz concert happening right out here in the foyer and it was so cool because one of the percussionists was a tap dancer in our research we just discovered we are on 410 somewhere over yonder the gym, however, one of my favorite places on the ship is um here. Just show my hand real fast here, all the way over here. So, our warm up will be running the entire distance of the ship. Good morning. We are now making the trek across the ship to the gym. <laughs> Isn't this the cutest little thing? This is so cute. I love this. The fact that it's called Marceline Market and the theming makes it 10 times better. But you know what? It'll never top the little the little uh, cafe. Uh, Ma Vicks. Uh, Ma Vicks in, in uh, Marceline, uh, yeah. Missouri. But, but it can try. But it can try. But it can try. Marceline Market was done correctly. Yes. I love Marceline Market. The vibes, it cannot top Ma Vicks in Marceline. But it is very close. Yeah, it's very good. Yeah. It's a vibe, and the food is delicious. They cook the eggs right. The eggs are runny on those eggs bennies. Yeah. It's got a Mickey waffle, some chocolate chip pancakes. But this like area, this is really cool. We've been on the Fantasy, and they just had seating areas like around the outside edges, so you can look out over the water. But th these have like little, there's like a bar and like little lounge spaces, maybe like living rooms or almost like in a like a fancy bar or like old block bar. Well, I think this this part, even when Marshall Market is closed, this is a bar. This is just a normal oh. bar. Yeah. Oh, okay. You see how the doors close here, oh. right there. Yeah, yeah. Oh, right there. And then you're, and then you can't access Mars Plane Market, but. So the awesome part, but also the challenge with this kind of a trip is that there's a lot of different creators and everyone's wanting to like work with each other, which I think is great. It's one of my biggest passions in life is getting to collaborate with other people. That also means there's just a lot of challenges because a lot of us didn't have time to prepare a whole lot beforehand. Oh, we're one four up. Let's go. Yeah. We didn't have a ton of time to per perform or like, I guess prepare, especially as dancers, we have like a little bit of performance we need to do, but like work beforehand to like just make it happen. You can't just like pull it out of your butt. Um, but we're, right now it's like, there's two full days left and we're just trying to like, bring it all in. But Kayla just reached out and was like, do you want to film that thing? We just have to choreograph that still. Oh. Uh, so I'm doing tech stuff, guys. It's a whole, it's a whole thing. During our travels with Disney, we've gotten to know the Disney team that puts on these events. And by proxy, we've gotten to know their children. 
We were excited to see that those kids were able to join us on the cruise. And Jason asked if we would be willing to ride the Aqua Mouse with his kids. And being the fun uncles that we are, we hung out with him the rest of the trip. We wanted to ride the Aqua Mouse, but the Aqua Mouse was down for a second. So we had to ride the other slide first. And I gotta be honest, this one is so fast. When you get going, I'm like, Whoa! Yeah. So while we waited for the Aqua Mouse to come back online, we hung out in the pool, got some ice cream. And then we had to bail because we had to be at the Star Wars Lounge for an event for the influencers, which was super cool. This bar lounge is so cool. But before we get into all that, we got to do a little OOTD of the Star Wars fits. Let us know what you thought in the comments below. This was the first drink we had. And honestly, I could have drank this thing all day. It was so good. It's a mocktail. We didn't have any alcohol. And so our friends got to join us, which was so fun. The other drinks were very good as well, um, but just not as good as that first one. I loved that first one. Um, the pink one was more like a pink drink from Starbucks, kind of. Um, and then there was a mango and coconut one, which is the, the orange one there. The last drink we had was in a porg glass, and it was really cool because it had sherbet on top. And honestly, that one was so good because of the sherbet, but the drink itself was a little bit lighter, more mild, and uh, I don't know. It was just overall a very good experience. After meeting Captain Minnie, we headed up the deck to get our second take, our second shot, for the Foghorn video. This is to be our guest, and if you can't tell, Paul is a teacup and Luke is a tea kettle. Like, you know, Mrs. Potts and Chip. But our costumes don't really replicate that, so, you know, hopefully people picked up on that. Finally, we got the opportunity to ride the Aqua Mouse. Oh my gosh, I love this ride. Let's go. Let's go. is like they've cut off the line already it's so long pose pose body generation of heroes with live demonstrations yes thank you samuel oh all right hi i'm scott lang um but you might know me as ant-man it's uh wait samuel just had to start recording so we're recording Splendid idea. After the pirate party, Cosette and her sister Talia had learned the Texas Hold'em dance over the span of the entire trip. It just takes a long time to learn a dance. And after learning it, they wanted to do it with Casey Stroh. And so the five of us got together and uh, recorded it. And it did take us a long time, but we got it and it looks so good. And I am so proud of them for putting in all the effort. I think we're going for tomorrow. It's currently when almost 1.30. We had planned to do a collab with our friend Kayla the next day and had yet to choreograph it. So we decided to uh, lay down some choreography here at 1.30 in the morning after filming the Texas Hold'em dance. We made sure to be as quiet as possible because it is the middle of the night on a cruise ship. But eventually we got there and we finished it. Because I mean, it's one. different. Yeah, it's a little... I was going a little zestier, but I like, uh, like whatever you think is better. No, I think it's I, My body is not thinking. I was going more of a jab and you're like a push. Push. Ooh, ooh. Nailed it. Now time for some sleep. 
We woke up bright and early to go get in a workout and noticed that we had arrived at Castaway Key. I'm so excited for today. But first, a workout, which I believe I forgot to film. Scratch that, I got one shot of us doing one arm exercise. Wow, good job. Gotta get a quick workout in before we get jump on Castaway Key. We're here right now, here's what it looks like. We get breakfast and get on the island. The problem is I don't want tan lines. I already feel like I have a little tan line around for my sunglasses from, from my day at Epcot, where I received this doozy. But we are on Castaway Key, let's go. All right, y'all, we gotta go check out this uh, um, uh, obstacle course over here in Castaway. We got Wally and Luke, Pizza Beard fam. Woo, woo, woo. We're gonna go over there. <laughs> it's cold. Oh, it is cold. It's oh my like, god. Really cold. Get it, Luke. You know, we haven't vlogged much today. We have a because... terrible habit of not vlogging because we filmed, I think, eight videos with different yeah. creators. We started off our collabs with Jake from Pizza Beard Party, and it was pretty unhinged. Then we headed over to the Heads Up Bar where the Disney team had set up a creator meet and greet. Do you want me to stand right here with you? Does that help you? Emma could. Emma could? We can have Emma. And there we filmed several collabs, one with Twins on the Beach and Emma Watkins. Again! Yes, we are! Uh, yeah, I think so. Let me see the formation. We also filmed the Hoedown Throwdown with Yasmin Sahid, Pablo, and Alex from DuraFest 2. And Yasmin's sister, Nadia, who almost didn't join us, but we convinced last minute. Here we go. This video was filmed by the illustrious Meredith Tlenko, assisted by her husband, Austin Tlenko, of Costin Mayer. Not it's going bad. It's going bad. As you can see pictured here. I love them so much. We then met up with our buddies Nick and Gaby and filmed this video. Nick and Gabe bring so much joy into the world and are just so collaborative and loving. The way that they just love on people is so infectious and you just can't help but be touched by it. And then it was time to film the dance we had choreographed the night before. Here is us reviewing that choreography that we were trying desperately to remember. And uh, Kayla is a gem. I love her. We have been mutuals for years and years. And just now met in person for the first time and it was so much fun to get to do this video collab with her luke and i had prepped a few dances we needed to do just the two of us so we hurried over and kayla helped us film this and then we met up with the triple charm girls and recorded a dance they taught us the night before their dad helped us film this video and he is a pro it was so much fun to get to work with other camera people. It wasn't only him, like a Ben, Casey's husband, was so helpful all the time. Anytime you needed somebody to help you film something, he was right there ready to help. It was then time to head back to the ship, but on our way back, we realized we hadn't filmed our last of the horns. We're trying to figure out our, our own choreography. You are hustling. I can't believe like, how many videos you're filming. We're gonna go back and use the water slide. That's oh, good. Sounds good. I'll be up there in a minute, okay? And, uh, Honestly, this is us figuring out which sound we were supposed to be using because we were off a sound and we thought we'd choreographed slash danced to the wrong song on Pirate Night. Is this it? That's what we did. No. We didn't do this. This is it. This is it. It's ba 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 da ba da ba da. There you guys go. No, we did. There we go. This is it. This is the one. That's the first one. Are you sure? I'm gonna pray. Oh, we gonna... did the first one. I, I pulled it back to the first one. Then this is the second one. This is the second one. This is the second one. This is the one at the end of the video. Damn, but look! That's what we did. Ba 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 we did it right. We did it right. No, I don't think we did it on the ship. It was still right here. Yeah. Let's go back on the ship. I don't think. I think you're wrong. I'm gonna look back at my footage, but I'm almost positive we we didn't do it to this. Cool. Yeah. This is the end of the video. Oh, it is. Yeah. This is oh. the song. You were doing the song at the beginning. Oh, good. Cool. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Yeah, that is way. Better. Yeah, that's it. That's the one. We were actually had it right, but. It took us a minute to figure it out. <laughs> we then headed back to the ship to ride the Aqua Mouse.
after riding the aqua mouse a few times, we needed to go get ready for dinner, but we hadn't actually been to the adult parts of the boat yet, like the adult only parts. And this place is kind of cool. I didn't film like the very back of the ship, but there's a lot of like, like cool pools and like little lounge areas. Also back here is the Cove Cafe, which is like a coffee shop, bar, but it is at an extra cost. But there is other bar coffee shops on around the ship that are the same thing, like espresso drinks and stuff that are for an extra charge. Um, but it is a really cute little place back here and it's for adults only, but I do really like this area back here and I kind of wish I knew about it earlier. <laughs> we just didn't explore this part of the ship at all. We then headed back to get ready for dinner, which was an Arendelle tonight. Let me be honest. I loved every meal we had, but this one was particularly special, especially with the interaction that we got to do with the audience. I also love the songs of Frozen and Frozen 2, and also the inter we had sign language interpreters, which was so cool to watch. They were right by our table. And anyway, the, the cast members here are just so, so good. The singers, this little quartet, the, or trio? I guess it's a trio, there's only three of them. The trio sang a lot of the songs and then the characters came out and would do like little bits or I, I know Elsa sang Let It Go and stuff like that. But it ended up being so cool. And then the Olaf puppet, he is so cute. No, Olaf is real. Olaf is real. I believe it from this animatronic. Come on! Good job! We then had to do an OOTD with Haley and Emma at the treasure presentation where Disney showed us a little bit about what to expect from the Disney Treasure, the newest cruise ship that's setting sail, I think, later this year. This also doubled as our farewell because the next morning we would disembark and we wouldn't see the whole group of influencers again, which was such a sad moment that this trip was coming to an end. I mean, it had been eight days and we were quite exhausted from just the amount of work we'd done, but man, was it fun and what a great time to get to spend with other influencers. Each night we'd seen a Broadway-style show at the theater inside the Disney Wish. And I love these shows, but you can't film in there, so this was the only time we actually filmed <laughs> inside the theater. Luke, what'd you think of the shows on The Wish? What'd you think? So good. You love the shows? I love them. It's hard because we've done so much in the last eight days that my body, as soon as I sit down, gets a little tired. But it's just the skill and the these performers go from John to that. We see them out that last night we saw them going from show to show to show and you start recognizing people. Incredible. So good. So good. Such so time. Full out every time. What'd you guys think? Go. Yeah. I was so tired, to be honest. I, uh... So this is Zach and Courtney, and Maddie is their daughter. You'll see her running around. But they are a hearing and deaf couple. Courtney is hearing and an interpreter, and Zach is deaf. But they really wanted to do a dance with us, and we really wanted to do a dance with them because they were so special and had such an impact on our hearts and our lives throughout this trip. I now desperately want to learn sign language because it's such a beautiful language. I just, mm, I just love them so much. Their at tag is our signed world. You should go follow them. They wanted to do a dance, and so um, Courtney had this idea for this silly like add-on dance, um, and we got a take we liked, but Zach couldn't hear the rhythm, so he was jumping counter rhythm he was like not quite on the rhythm and we got the take we thought it was fine and um kind of went away and courtney came back to us and was like zach is embarrassed and he would like to do it again can we do that and of course we were like yes of course 100 percent." so we did it again and we had to come up with some cues to make it accessible for him and so what luke did is he put it at the back of his hand on zach's hand so that he could feel the rhythm of like up and down the jumping and then when it was his turn to add in to do the jam at the end, Luke was just tapped him on the back and he was able to just join in. And it was something that was so powerful for us, just making dance accessible, but it was also like so touching and it and has continued to be one of our favorite videos that we made on this entire trip. I think today we've collaborated with like 12 people. Actually, that's, I don't know, yeah, I can't even count anymore. But we were finishing up and they were like, oh, it's time to go to bed. And it, it felt like everyone was kind of rallying to go out to the role. 
little club they have here. So we're gonna head down and see what's going on. This is a silent disco. <laughs> Technically we arrived at the silent disco when they were finishing it, but they did throw on some music for us and we just hung out with some of our creator friends until going to bed very late and getting up very early for breakfast. All right. Goodbye. That's it. For room 1056. Hey, bye-bye, Norms. Thank, thank you. you so much. Norms, thank you, thank you, thank you. I think more powerful than anything is the relationships that are built. And it's something so, so, so special and so sad when it comes to an end. But I hope that this gave you a little insight into the Walt Disney World Creator Celebration in Orlando, Florida, and on a cruise ship, open it safe. <laughs> You're such a <laughs> Bye, twin song. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. We departed our cruise on March the 4th, which is one day before our birthday. And we met some of our friends at the airport before leaving, and they sang us happy birthday, which was so sweet. Yeah, twin song. Our flight didn't leave till the next day, and we had a couple hours in the afternoon after getting to our hotel. So we took an Uber over to Universal Studios to walk around and debrief after a long trip. If you want to see that video and our debrief deep thoughts, you can head over to our Patreon to watch that video. We'll see you in another video real soon. Don't die. Okay, bye. A special thank you to Matthew, Mark, Morgan, and Webster for being the realest of the real ones over on Patreon. If you want to join our team, head over to patreon.com backslash twinsauce or use the link below.